before we do our program. Joyce, this is going to make it a nothing. All is this right. three weeks in a row? Yeah, it is, it is, so that's yes. all good news. So you'll find at the table an email that you should have already received in your inbox on February 14th from Howard. It has the recognitions email on it, so no one has an excuse. If you don't think you have it, then take one of those with you, but you can just save it to your contacts because what I want you to do is if you see somebody doing something, take a picture, send it to me. If you do something, take a picture, send it to me. That way we'll get to be able to interact more. But I, but how I pick who's up here every week <laughs> is random number generation. Sure. <laughs> yeah, really, they've got them online. I figured it all out. And so if you see somebody twice, just make sure they buy a lottery ticket because they came up. Uh, so um, first of all, just call Scott out. He's not going to be recognized because he said, hey, I'm talking twice. Leave me alone. Um, so I am because I, he didn't understand the random number generation. But that's the last pass that he's going to get. I want to. Um, First, uh, Laura, though, she was wonderful. She had the whole spirit of the whole thing. She said, all I'm doing, stand up, stand up. All I'm doing is a documentary about ACEs and playing with my uh, granddaughter. And so she sent not one, but a series of very <laughs> adorable pictures. <laughs> so she was very enthusiastic and we're, this is exactly what we're hoping for. But Laura, do you want to say a few words in yourself about this and what you're doing? So I am working on a documentary for PBS North Coast and the North Coast Grant Maker on childhood trauma, which is ACEs and how it leads to health issues in here in Humboldt County. And um, it's a intense project and I think of all of you Rotarians often while I'm working on it. Um, it'll be done October 1st and Joyce is helping some <laughs> and it's kind of heavy so in my off time I just get goofy with my step-granddaughter and we just make a bunch of silly faces and have fun. <laughs> Yay! Um, Jessica though very timely said I am way too busy in tax season, so make something up. And I thought, rather than make it up, I'll go online. And so Jessica, there's something yes. about what being have I done? boss. It's about oh. being boss. Oh, OK. So can you see that article for yeah. that? Yeah. So, so how long ago? Oh, it was, it was a, a year and a half or so ago, I think. Um, it's a podcast that I that I started listening to a few years ago, and, um, and I very much like it. I think that they give really good uh, guidance and suggestions for creative entrepreneurs. And as I work to expand my knowledge about information I can share with my clients, I, I get geeky about business pod podcasts. Anyway, um, on one of the episodes, the gal was talking about, I just don't understand taxes. They always tell me I owe so much, blah, blah, blah. So I was just trying to explain uh, sort of the ins and outs of being self-employed and, um, and how you should think about <coughs> pricing your services, and then also uh, setting money aside to be able to cover your self-employment taxes. So. so if you're interested in that, <coughs> Google being boss Jessica McKnight and get all the information on her article. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Yeah. So I want to thank Rachel. She responded timely. She, did, she said, I don't know what to talk about. But Rachel, go ahead. Talk about what you wanted to say about um, the I'll try to walk to end. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if we ever brought it up, but um, the window for fundraising ended at the end of December, and Humboldt County ended up raising over 100,000, and our goal was 78,000. So I thought that was pretty cool, and um, a lot of Rotarians were a big part of that. So, yeah, so. thank you. Thank you. So. Um, Bob didn't respond at all. No. <laughs> but so I decided that it was random generation. I just thought I'd throw the dice and see what I came right. up with. Well, stand up then, because I did come up with something. Um, I did print pictures, so I decided not to do Bob Johnson. It's like, how much would you get if you were to do Bob Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> so I just actually copy any of them. Okay. So, but you do Bob and Sue Johnson. And the first one that comes up is Wife Saves Husband. And so there's this whole article about Wife Saves Husband. That was kind of nice, but a little bit uh, deep. So the next one was an obituary. And I thought, nah, I'm not going to bring that up. So the, oh, I did bring a picture. The third one is Higher Ed Jobs. There is a Bob and Sue Johnson professor, professorship of crop management at Monterey Bay, and um, which they said Monterey is the salad bowl of California. 
And um, so yeah. do you know anything about down there, the lettuce and the, and the yeah. like strawberries yeah. and stuff like that? Though? So yeah, do you know anything about um, crop management? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> do you know anything about professorship? No. So this month's not be you. No. Can't, can't be me. All right. So um. Oh, I'm getting set up here. Yeah. No, no, no. That's it. So, so um, oh. do you know anything about oh. salad bowls? Sure. First okay. Yeah. What do you know about salad bowls? Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of them uh, at home. Some bigger, some smaller. Every um, one of them being moved. Oh, especially, you know, but the thing I like the best is my bear claws that I got in, uh, like, Nova Scotia or whatever, up in Canada, those wooden bear claw things to go with myself. All right. Well, very good. So that is Bob's recognition for not participating yet. <laughs> Can I, can I, but it, I, I want to, I want you to tell us the story of when you were um, in charge of recognitions and you looked up one, a member of our club named Guy Joy. I did, and I, yeah, Guy Joy used to, he's an artist, lives up in uh, McKinleyville. Yeah, it's not. And I said, you know, I went looking for things, over, and I just said, you got to be careful if you look for, if you Google Guy Joy, what might come up? <laughs> It is the email that you've given to Howard. So if you're not getting the emails either this one or from me when it comes up, that's because you have to fix your email with Howard. So it's also serving as a um, service to the club to make sure you have the most current email. Yeah. So thank you all. We'll try to do this every uh, week when uh, Ray has time, and um, we'll be able to get through that. Thank okay. you.